ExxonMobil was by far the biggest decliner in the Dow today. Shares fell nearly 3 percent after the oil giant announced plans to sharply cut funding for oil and natural gas drilling this year. Morgan Brennan has more on the cuts and where the company sees growth. ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson telling analysts and investors that its oil and natural gas production will be flat in 2014. A big reason for that is lower capex spending, with the oil giant announcing a 6 percent cut to its drilling budget. Exxon also plans to invest less in its North American natural gas business. We have deliberately elected to let continue to just decline rather than invest a lot in sustaining or growing North American gas capacity, which we have a, the opportunity to do. That's a deliberate choice we're making, just because it doesn't appear the market needs it yet. Tillerson also touching on the crisis in Ukraine, saying his company's exploration plans in that country are on hold thanks to the current circumstances. Tillerson clarified that ExxonMobil's operations in Russia, where a partnership with Rosneft is seen as having massive growth potential, have so far not been impacted by the unrest in the region, though he did hint that the company would be impacted by any economic sanctions the West puts on Moscow. You know, governments can take actions that are beyond our control, such as sanctions, which would prohibit any businesses from conducting activities, and we've been through that, whether it be with uh, Iranian sanctions or it's with Iraqi sanctions at one time or it's been you know, other countries, Libya. Um, so that's just part of, of the risk we know is there, uh, always present. It wasn't all bad news from ExxonMobil. The company says that it will see a record 10 new projects come online this year and that it expects annual growth of 2 to 3 percent beginning in 2015. But one look at how the stock finished today, it's trading down nearly 3 percent. And it's easy to see that today's message didn't sit well with investors. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.